Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This will be a recap of week three's go live session. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna show you guys examples of what you guys did for your grade level, and we'll go from there. All right, so for this past Wednesday's go live session, we tried to draw Chicago. So over here, here's what we tried to do. We did step by step. We did some popular buildings such as the Prudential Building, uh, the John Hancock, the Sears or Willis Tower, Navy Pier, and of course the Bean from Millennium Park. So hopefully you guys enjoy this video. It's gonna be a pre-recording, unedited. So here we go. For my last video I just did for week three, I drew um, a picture of uh, Paris because it was related to the story. So here is the picture of, hold on. Here's a picture of Paris I did. And approximately, approximately out of all of fourth grade, only 18 of you guys watched the video. So we're just going to try to go over landscapes once more, but using sh the Chicago uh, landscape. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold my paper horizontally. Uh, you don't have to write your name if you don't want to. But for my start, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to add a horizontal line towards the bottom. And this will be where we will start placing our buildings and other structures. So again, if you want to follow me, you can. And then we can share with the class uh, what you did. So here we go. So there's a straight line on the bottom. Now, um, this next part, um, I'm going to put the Chicago Bean. This Chicago Bean is located in Millennium Park in Chicago. And it kind of looks like a big reflective mirror. Raise your hand if you've been to the Chicago Bean before. You haven't been there before? Especially even if you go underneath. Oh, wow. Brady's been there. Austin's been there. A couple other people have been there. Nice. OK, so that's where I put the Bean right in the middle. If you want to add a little sheen to it or like a little shine, you can. A little tilted rectangle just to make it look like it's shining a bit. Okay. But if you don't want to add that, you don't have to. Now, um, what I forgot to tell the other class is was to leave a blank space on the left hand side. This will be where Navy Pier is. As a matter of fact, if you want to save that spot, what some people do is that they just draw a line from here to here to resemble the pier. And if you want to draw little pillars to hold up that deck of a pier, you can. This is going to be Navy Pier, so I won't touch this section at all. This section is safe for my Navy Pier. OK, so there is a couple buildings that are very famous in Chicago. And it's important for us to draw them because um, that's how we can see that it's not um, like another uh, location like Los Angeles or New York. We want to make sure that people know it's like right away. Oh, it's Chicago. So that's why we drew the bean. All right, next building is that I want to draw the Prudential building. So if you've ever been to Millennium Park where this bean is, if you ever look towards the city, you will see this building that looks kind of like this. It looks like kind of like a diamond. And then it's slanted. But I'm not going to slant it on my paper because you can't really see it on paper when it's slanted, but I'll draw the diamond. And then I'm going to draw a couple horizontal lines on the top. Doesn't have to be perfect. Mine's not perfect. There we go. All right, now since my Prudential building is on top of the beam, I can't make my lines go all the way down. So with that said, I can go down all the way on this side, but not on the other points where I have to draw lines down. So I have to stop right there and there. Got it? So now it looks like the beans in front, as always, and we have Prudential Building. If you want to add little windows, you can. So I'm just going to add little windows while I wait for people to catch up. And again, you don't have to follow along with me because of materials. Just in case you don't have the materials, that's OK. Um, again, you can just do this with just a pencil and a piece of paper. Sometimes even people do this on a Post-it, but that's OK. So there's my Prudential Building. Now, the reason why I'm not doing the tallest building here is because that's going to be in the way back. But there's another building that's super important. And maybe some of you guys have been there, maybe not. But uh, it's by a cathedral. Uh, this building's going to be called the John Hancock. So it's going to be a little bit taller. So I'm going to draw a line right around here. Because it's going to be taller than the Prudential building, but not as tall as the biggest building. So make sure it's not too high. Now, before I go down with my lines, I want you guys to see the difference. This building has lines that are going a little bit slanted. It's a little bit slanted on each side. So it kind of like opens up as it goes down. Now, when I normally teach kindergarten and first grade, 
is to draw X's inside each box. But before we do the box, let's just divide this up into three sections. So two lines to divide up into three sections, right, like this. So one, two, three, three sections. Now I'm gonna put two more lines. So it symbolizes iron pillars, like that. And again, I normally teach kindergarten through third grade to just draw normal X's, but we're better than that. So what I'm gonna do, I wanna make these X's three-dimensional so it looks like, like iron pillars. So I'll do two lines going this way. And then I'm gonna do two lines the opposite way, but I'm gonna go behind. So over here, behind, over here, and behind. So now I'm gonna repeat that step two more times on top. So I'll do it two more times on top. So here's my other X and my other X. There we go. The John Hancock has a couple cool restaurants there. I know there's a Cheesecake Factory in the bottom. There's a couple uh, big companies that are reside inside the building. And this building actually has two antennas on top, both uneven, just like that. I've been there Oh, before. have you? Nice. Yeah, yeah, I've only been there a couple times. I know that, I think there's a rotating restaurant on top, actually. I think, I'm not quite sure. I could be wrong. <laughs> So there's that. So this is John Hancock. We got the Prudential Building, and then we got um, the Bean. So let me go a little bit quicker because it looks like I'm running out of time here because I only have you guys until uh, 1 o'clock. I'm going to have five more minutes. So next building is going to be the tallest building, which is the Sears Tower or Willis Tower. I'm going to draw it this tall because there's three sections. So again, two and three. Ta-da. I'm gonna call this the Sears Tower or Willis Tower, also known as the Tallest Tower in Chicago. There we go. If you wanna add small windows, you can. I'm gonna go the easy route. I'm just gonna be drawing stripes vertically to symbolize windows, just to save time, because I still wanna be able to have an opportunity to share. I apologize. Time is really short when it comes to 15 minutes, guys. All right, so there's that. Um, let's start off with the Ferris wheel, I guess. Um, the Ferris wheel is just kind of like it looks like a bike wheel. I'm gonna draw my first big circle like this to resemble the Ferris wheel. I'm gonna draw another circle in the middle, a little bit tinier. I apologize for going too fast, but I'm trying to make sure I don't run out of time. I only have four minutes left with you guys. All right, so I'm gonna draw four lines attached to the ground, so two lines there, and two lines on the other side. That way it's attached to the ground, or the pier, it's attached to the pier. And now I'm gonna add the sidecars. I think that's what it's called. I'm just gonna add ovals and random spots. If it overlaps a little bit, that's okay. All right. And then with that said, I'm gonna add another thin line, just like this, around the circle so it doesn't look so thin. There you go. And to finish it off, I'm gonna add the spokes, just like a real bicycle. Just the spokes, that way it works like a real Ferris wheel. Ta-da! All right, there's my Navy Pier. If you want to add random buildings on the side, you can, because there is more stuff to the Navy Pier on the side, but I ran out of paper. Um, if you want to draw a ramp or stairs going to the Navy Pier, you can. I'm going to do that on mine. And uh, since I only have three minutes left, I'm going to show you guys how I like to finish it. I like to draw a letter S from here to symbolize the water. And then the water's over here. If you wanna draw a road or a beach over here, you can later on. And what we learned in third grade is how to do uh, buildings the three-dimensional way. So if you wanna do the third, third grade way, it's just random lines going up, just like this. And then we just do really wide arrows, just like that. So you probably remember that technique from last year, but you don't have to. There we go. And then what you do with those arrows is that you just kind of go down like that. And then it makes three dimensional buildings, just like that. And then if you want to add more buildings, all you gotta do is add more of those type of lines that make them into arrows, just like this, and then go down. Or easiest way, if you just want to draw upside down L's, upside down L's work too. Upside down L's make it look like there's buildings also. Just like that. 
Okay, so that's Chicago. Right now, there's two minutes left in class. So if you want to show the class what you did, you can hold it up to the camera. Uh, you can unpin me if you'd like. So you can see your other classmates holding up their drawings. And there we go. So let's see if anyone did it. Brady, you want me to show you? you, want me to show you? Oh, I see Elijah's nice. I see Kellen's nice job. All right, I'm going to flip my camera around so I stop by showing. So you guys can pay attention to your classmates showing theirs. I'm going to flip the camera one. Here's my face. All right, you guys did a really good job. Good job, guys. The time now is 12.58. I do have to teach fifth grade right now. So with that said, I hope you guys enjoy this class. And I want to ask you guys to sign off. All right, see you guys next Bye, time. guys. Bye. 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 Bye.